You're a good-looking man, I have to say. I Seeing you in person. You I know? appreciate that. I like the beard, too. I think you made the right decision. It's your trademark now. You can't shave that now, what you know. Are, what are you doing? Well, <laughs> I'm trying to get a trademark going of my own. Yeah. I see, I see, yeah. I see. You, I, this is an interesting thing. Your agent uh -huh. is now the general manager of the Los Angeles Lakers. Yes. Does that mean he's your agent anymore? It's over. It's over. Yeah, he, I mean, but I told him, like, that's a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be the general manager of the Lakers. Like, you got to take it. So I'm happy for him. Uh, he's he's happy. Uh -huh. uh, best of luck to him. So do you need an agent? I would love to represent you. I don't know if you're... <laughs> are you entertaining offers? Are you having meetings? Uh, no, I, have, I still have an agent. You uh, do? Yeah, in a day, yeah she's, okay. she's my agent. All right. Well, all right. Well, you know, I want to ask about this, but I don't know who made this deal for you. But you've got this candy now, which I guess it's kind of a big deal for an athlete <laughs> to be on a candy. But I'm going to open this because... I'm interested in the candy itself because it really, boy, I tell you what, it looks just like you. <laughs> go, taste it, go ahead. Taste it. See how good they are. It tastes like you too. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Yes, is that exciting for you to have your own candy? Yeah, you know, as as kids, even adults, like we lo everybody loves candy, you know. So Reggie Jackson had his own candy bar. You don't do you even know who Reggie Jackson is? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, you kids today, it is... <laughs> Yankees fans are crying in New York right now. Yeah. Yeah, no, Reggie was a baseball player. Yeah. Yeah. Old school. No, I, I know who Reggie Jackson is. Yeah, yeah, bull. I do. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to know who these people are because you're making... Well, Kobe Bryant said on this very show, I asked him if there was one guy he'd want, who would it be? And he said it was you, and you were a Lakers fan as a kid. Yeah. I mean, I mean, com coming from Kobe, man, that's an honor. You know, I just go out there and try to compete at a high level. I mean, every night, but just coming from him, uh, one of the best to ever do it. I mean, it means a lot to me. Did you get excited when you heard he said that? Had he ever said it to you personally? I mean, we have talks. You know, we're really yeah. good friends. So, I mean, he's never really told me that in person. What was it like the first time you played against him? Because I know he's your favorite player. And what does that feel like to play against your... I was nervous in the beginning. And yeah. then uh, once the ball, you know, he had the ball and I was guarding him, I had to try to stop him. I mean... I had no other choice. <laughs> you, you guys played in a kind of pickup game. Yeah. It's called, what is it called? The Drew, Drew League? League, yeah, yeah. Out here. And it's here in town, mm -hmm. and this was during the NBA lockout or something? The lockout, yeah. it was summertime, and, you know, it's, it's like a Washington Park, and, you know, it was just a pack. It was a pack, you know, a little small gym. Kids play there, right? Kids play there. Yeah. And, you know, he came out. I had 50 points, though. <laughs> How many did he have? Um... I think he had like 40, but he hit the game winner. Only. He hit the game winner. Of course he does. That's what he does. <laughs> he, he, uh, is he in, in the most competitive guy you played against? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, for sure. really? I think, he shows him, I think he shows him on the court as well. I mean, just by his demeanor. Are you glad um, he's not? you don't have to play against him? No, anymore? I think we all miss him, man. He's, he's, he's a legend. Do you ever get together with him and play now? Do you guys ever have any kind of a casual? No, I'm in season. He's, he's, he don't want them problems anymore. He doesn't want any of that nonsense nah, he's, from you. He's, he's too old now. He had like 48 double doubles this year, which is uh, astonishing, really. Do you feel like you are the MVP, the most valuable player of the league? Yeah. <laughs> All right. You can see how far. You can see how far the Lakers have fallen, <laughs> that you're now in L.A. and people are rooting for a Houston Rocket here. <laughs> but do you, inside yourself, feel like you are the most valuable player? Yeah, yes. Because, you do? Uh, yes, because uh, preseason, or before the season started, they predicted us to be, like, 10th. And now we're third, the third best... <laughs> third, the, third, <laughs> the third best record overall in the NBA, and, you know, it just... From last year, we didn't, we barely made the playoffs, and now we have an opportunity to contend for a title. So yeah, you don't need an agent, really. It sounds like you got it all covered yourself. This whole thing. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you like that, click the subscribe button below, and good things will happen forever.